What up, what up, what up, good people? Episode 226 yes. Yes. of the JB. And 226, Andrew. got you in the mix, baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What's happening? What's the deal? What's going yeah. on out there? Wonderful, Back. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful human beings. You beautiful, beautiful, great people. How the hell are you out there, man? It's the JB and Benny Blue. We back. You know what I'm saying? Again. We back. Again. Again. We back. We back. Again. Again. We back. That's just how we do. We just keep coming back. All right? We just keep coming back. Episode 226. Benny was popping, man. Tim, what's going on, brother? Congratulations on the new edition. Congratulations, Dr. We got the new baby. All right. Yes, that's right. That's right. Let me play the. Uh, let me play the uh, claps. How, how how could I forget? I got to play the claps. Oh yes, guy, yes. Dr. Applause, T. applause, applause. Timothy J. Tinkle Jr. Born. Yes, thing. Got a way to shoot shooter. Okay, you know what I'm saying. We love you, Tim. Uh, you're 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 the best. You you are you are a brother. You are our official special Lakers correspondent. We are so happy for you and your beautiful soon to be wife. Listen, man, if you're just tapping in with us for the yes. first time, please make sure to follow us at JB and Baby Blue for all your social media needs. Goddamn, subscribe to the YouTube. You know we're going to be putting up the shorts, hot topic, real-time reactions and thoughts on things that are happening when we're not on this fine live stream broadcast. Tapping with us, man, every Wednesday. We're going to be switching back to the weekly schedule that may even include a new day. JB and I will wrap about it in our patent production meeting. But for now... On every other Wednesday, it's about 7.30, 7.45, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and IG. You can't miss us. Yes. Speaking of IG, make sure to follow Dr. Bridges, 7.3, KingJB73, and yours truly, at Benny Blue Eyes. Follow us on TikTok. Same thing as always, at JB and Benny Blue. You saw the pre-roll. We are with our CasualSports.com, KSRN, Arizona family, live streaming out of Phoenix. So you can get that on demand whenever you want it. Listen, if you still want the audio dope podcast form and the words of Dr. Bridges, one hot dollar. That hot gets dollar. that to you right? per month. Plus it's that hot content. dollar. Patreon.com slash JB and Benny Blue. And listen, man, you see we're repping our sponsors right out of the desert. Shout out to the Valley Boys, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Valleyboyassociation.com. Go to valleyboyassociation.com and use code podcast22 for 20% off your order at checkout. So we just shout them out. Man, the, the, guy, the, kids, the, the kid needs a damn college fund, so hook them up. It's timdebuy.com. Yeah, buddy. Get your newer pre-owned vehicle text review to 515-444-7003, and Tim will hook you up wherever you're at in the country, newer pre-owned vehicle, and follow him at it's Tim Dubai on Instagram. Listen, as JB will tell you, we had a lot of great guests coming up from all walks of life. If you want to be a guest, if you got something to promote, if you got something coming going on, you got to listen, man. You got You got to have your shit together now. We we ain't just having Jerry from down the street. You got to be got something on the ball, yeah. baby, to be on this show. <laughs> and we love all of our reviewers. Tap in with us. Shoot us an email. Professional inquiry. JB and Benny Blue Review at gmail.com. And as Doctor T did, at any point you got a comment or question or whatever we are talking about, please drop in a comment on whatever social media platform you are watching us on. Coming up, we got a lot to talk about. Deshaun Watson madness. Stephen Ross madness. Debo Samuel contract. The whole Kyler shit and a whole lot of mo. Yeah, but buddy. first, but first we have to uh, we have to salute our guy, Doctor Bridges, because this past weekend, oh, he was out there in the big toaster, baby, uh, for Alumni Day. JB, how was your experience out there uh, with the Burr Gang alumni? Talk talk to the people. Oh, you know what? It was a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to get out and be with the folks. First and foremost, of course, uh, being out there with the folks, man. The folks, the people. We love the people. The people, right? uh, baby. Second of all, man, you know what I'm saying? Just to be around that atmosphere again, bro, it's crazy, right? It was beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? Just to smell that grass, being able to see the stadium, to be inside the stadium, man, it was crazy. Uh, we loved it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Every second of it. And we appreciate the Cardinals for taking a step in the right direction. Uh, you know what I'm saying, and making sure that, that the alumni is treated properly, man. So we 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 appreciate that. Uh, go Cardinals all day, you know what I'm saying. See my man Deuce the Tui. Uh, I ain't seen this yeah. kid, man. I've been, I've been in the Valley, man, since 2018, and just first time laying eyes with my brother, man. So it was special, man. It, it was it was special. It was good. I love it. Now, as a question that I'm going to ask selfishly, but I think all of our reviewing viewing reviewers would like to know: Did this visit get one Jeremy Eugene Bridges any closer? To being on the sideline, did you shake Kime down? Did you get? Did you get you know, Mr. Bill the old hundred dollar bill handshake? What I did didn't, you I, do? I didn't get a chance. To secure the bag. I didn't get a chance to see Steve, but I did see. Uh, did see Mike? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Mike, me, Mike, Bill, well, uh, of course, got a chance to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shoot the shit with him. Introduced to my son. My son met him. Amir met him. And, 
you know, I was joking about saying, you know who this man is? He was like, no. You know what I'm saying? That New Orleans accent. And uh, I was like, this man, he owned this. He owned all this. He was like, for real? So, yeah, this is the man himself. So, got a chance to sit and speak with him, you know what I'm saying? Top chop it up, man. And he's doing a great job of being more active with us, you know what I'm saying? Again, the alumni and just the players in general, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's, it will behoove you, you know what I'm saying, as the owner to make sure that you get out there and do your thing with your people, all right? Yes, sir. Uh, Benny, I just got word that we can only see half of each other. You know, I guess he, uh, I don't know. I got, I got my man uh, Sean Talk checking in. Talk about on Instagram. Yeah, it's it's funky. Yeah. It's funky on Instagram, Sean. You just 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 between me and you and all the viewers out there, the Instagram part is kind of bootleg. <laughs> not really supposed to be doing that. So we appreciate right. you tapping. Right. At least you can hear us and kind of see us. So drop right. a comment, exactly. Please. Right. Yeah. And, we and wanna, listen, yeah. JB JB will pull if you drop comments on our Instagram at JB Benny Blue. JB will pull them up on his phone, and that way, because I can't really show them on the screen, but he'll pull right. them up. And I promise you, we we got you. But listen, man, that's it's it's beautiful you got out there. It always it always makes me smile to see see you out there. I've been with you on a couple of occasions when you've actually been doing the alumni thing, so it's great. And shout out to shout out to Mister Bidwell for uh, treating you right and and maintaining and hopefully building that relationship with my guy. All right, get, yes, you know sir. What I'm saying? Get get this man in the building. It's know? only a matter of time, Vin. It's only a matter of time, man. We'll we'll be there. You know, what I'm saying in in due time, it's outcast in due time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, listen. Let, let's let's get down to business. Uh, but JB has to address something here on a patented edition. Ooh, speaking of the BG of Don't Be Dumb. Oh my God! Let's hit the music right now. And uh, Mr. Bridges, uh, we heard that one new acquisition of the BG that would be Marquise Hollywood Brown uh, was arrested for criminal speeding. Now, just to give context uh. here. Criminal speeding, I have this uh, saved, in, in the state of Arizona is exceeding 85 miles per hour, exceeding the posted speed limit by 20 miles an hour, mm -hmm. and exceeding 35 miles an hour approaching a school zone, and allegedly uh, he was going about 125, 126 Ooh. MPHs. Dr. Bridges, the floor is yours for, for uh, young Mr. Brown. He speeded. He speeded. <laughs> Look, man, uh, Hollywood, come on, man. I, now, you know, we, we these young athletes out here driving these nice, fancy sports cars. We get it, right? And I understand Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? I know you're from Florida, but at the same time, you've been living over in Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? They don't really drive like that in the DMV area, right? Let's be real. Thanks. A lot of two-lane roads. Not a lot of huge freeways out there, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, they ain't moving and shaking like they do out here on the West, right? right? Especially in the Valley of the Sun, right? They, you know, you, you, if you're doing 65, 70 out here, you'll get ran over, right? But, 125? Nah, bro, we gotta slow that thing down, buddy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I was telling Benny in our production meeting, I'm like, man, it's like, I gotta do the dope be done because the Xavier and Collins last year did the same shit in Scottsdale, basically, you know what I'm saying? Out there speeding. Probably lucky he didn't get a Dewey, you know what I'm saying? Because out here, it's not there. One tends to come together. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, hey, it's Russian roulette out there. But Hollywood, man, this is for you, young man. All right. Welcome to the Valley. All right. We are excited about the things you're going to do for our squad. But please, sir, don't be dumb. All right. Slow that damn car down. Yes, sir. That's right, Tim. We got speed cameras everywhere, even though they're illegal. Alleg right. They're supposed yeah. to be. They're supposed to be illegal, right? Yeah, they changed that in L.A. They got rid of them in L.A. Um, I got caught. In a, I got on a caught in a couple of them in my younger days. You can see like half my head, like just going through the, uh, yeah. through the, but, but that, the traffic but, but, light camera. They 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 passed that law about, probably about the same time. Like before I left, they passed that law. Those they, those mm -hmm. cameras were illegal, right? Yep. But I tell you what, ain't illegal. The state troopers out here, right? And I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that's probably who popped his ass. So Hollywood, don't be dumb, man. Slow that thing down, bro. Oh, I mean, we saw what happened to one Henry Ruggs riding Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dog. Yeah, and uh, you talk about the DUI part. We're glad, like, look, Marquise, we're glad above anything that you are safe and sound. First and foremost, yeah, you might, yeah, you might, you're probably gonna hit with a, get a little misdemeanor, pay a little fine, do you know, do your thing, mm -hmm. and get get back to business. But don't be dumb, baby. Come on, don't be. Season. All right, welcome to the valley. All right. Well, that's some that's some patent. Don't be dumb from your big brother, Mr. Bridges, who's been in your shoes. So take heed. Yes, sir. Brown, we know we know you watch and listen to this fine savage broadcast. All right. Speaking of the BG and news around the NFL, we got to get to it right now with some review reaction news, baby. All right. Now look, we got a uh, we got some uh, we got some wheeling and dealing. We got some ink drying on the paper. And uh, let's get to it right now. Speaking of the BG, oh, they extended DJ Humphreys three years, 
66.8 M's with 34 million guaranteed and 21 million in year one. JB, you've been you've been obviously harping about, about the the consistency of the Hogs for several years in this program. Uh, what does this extension mean for the BG, and what is your opinion of this extension, particularly for DJ Humphreys? Well, I mean, it's a, it's 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 one of those steps where it's like you know we're gonna pay our guys, right? And that's what great organizations do. They take care of their guys and they keep their guys. Now, uh, I can go back to organizations like Pittsburgh, right? Organizations like the Ravens, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, these organizations have done this and they have had great success. Even if these guys weren't the best, right? The cohesion, the consistency, right? The, 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 the fact that they're bought into their program. That says a lot, you know what I'm saying? This kid's a good kid, you know what I'm saying? From what everything I hear about him, he's a good kid. Right, uh, he, he he works hard. He's not that guy, you know. what I'm saying that you have to worry about anything bad happening, and so he's gotten better year to year, right? So shout out to Mr. Humphreys for getting that bread, all right? Uh, shout out to the Cardinals again for saying, you know what, he's our guy, and we're gonna pay him, right? So yeah, I, I'm not mad at that at all. Now you know what I'm saying we got some some some. Well, we 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 our offensive line right now is in a nice position. Not to put it like that. Well, shout to him for getting the bag, and yeah, especially with you know. Kyler need to take the next step, kind of what we talked about on our last show, what we've mm-hmm. talked about on our social media at JB and Benny Blue. You know, hey, what can really help a quarterback is that continuity with the Hogs up front. So right, if they right. feel like he's a guy, and, you know, with the extension. And listen, we all know NFL contracts can be made out of toilet paper sometimes. So, um, you know, he's going to get some of them M's coming to him. But And, er- and Earl, all right, shout out to our guy, oh, you know what I'm saying, Earl Burnett, family. you know what I'm saying. So Earl had me on the show probably a couple of weeks ago. He asked me about Rodney, right? Uh, our starting center is Rodney Hudson. Is that name Hudson? Uh, so he was holding out a camp, right? As far as like OTAs and all that. And I told Earl, I was like, the man is just resting, contemplating what he wants to do next. The man is in what year nine? I think maybe going to year ten of his, of his yeah, career. Like hey man. And he started pretty much almost every since he's come in the league, right? A lot of wear and tear on that man's body. Uh, so I told you, E, he was really just weighing his options. He needed some rest. He got that. He came back. He's gung-ho. He's ready to ball, man. So our centerpiece is back. So shout out to Rodney, man. There it is. All right. Keeping in the NFC West. Oh, Debo is playing coy, acting like he wasn't. He was trying to get up out of there, but it was all the ploy to get the bag. Three-year extension, seventy-three point five million, with fifty-eight point one guaranteed. The the 49ers have also been making moves as far as depth in the in the running back room. So mm-hmm. that way, and that was probably honestly probably part of the the negotiations, JB. As far as like with like, listen, I'm not a damn running back. Want to be? That was this whole thing. You want to be used more like a receiver, but right, right, the Shanahan. Exactly. System, they got a lot out of him with kind of having him in the backfield. Mm-hmm. So, with the extension, how do you feel about it? And also, like, how do you feel like that might change how he's used moving forward? He's willing to get t- stay with the team. That young quarterback needed him, right? Oh, uh, yes. that, that, that young quarterback needed him. Point blank, period. Uh, without Debo, they were not uh, going to be a very good football team. I don't care how you know good their defense was. Their middle linebacker is one of the best in the game. Got a solid defensive backfield. D line is powerful. O line decent. You know what I'm saying? Like Shanahan's offense is you know a machine. Like McVay, we talk about it every year. They're going to be good, but without Debo, they would have been okay. Right now, they're back to that elite level. And again, that quarterback is going to benefit from having him on the sides of him, being able to throw the ball to him. Yeah, I completely agree. And as you saw, they've publicly said, "Hey, we're letting Jimmy. Hey, we're letting Jimmy. You know, let, let them get in the win, right? Yeah, they let, let they, let, they let, let, let Jimmy get in the win, baby. Right. It's like it's like when you're in a situation ship. You know, the Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, if you want to go talk to other girls, you could do you could do what you feel because right, you, you, know you ain't locked down in this relationship. All right. Handle handle what you got to handle, baby. You know what I'm saying? So Jimmy's going to be that guy who's going to be working out with them, and they may, they're going to keep him as an asset because they know a team could very well be the Browns. We'll get to that later. Or another team, maybe the Giants, maybe another team that could be somewhere in the mix of having a winning season. But when it gets down to it, they may ultimately send a couple picks um, and take on some cash to get Jimmy G by the trade deadline if they ultimately just kind of put him on ice and just let him work out. So Trey Lance needs all the help he can get. And mm-hmm. damn straight, they're keeping Debo because they didn't have Debo. Ooh, wee, that would be some, that would be some hard sledding against the Rams and the BG. So, right, right, right. yeah, smart, smart move uh, by you, John Lynch. All right. Um, now this one was interesting, man. Julio Jones, 
I mean, the 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 legend, the OG, 33 years old. Uh, obviously, we know what we did what he did with the Falcons. You know, had a little mm-hmm. run with the Titans. Signs a one year deal with Tampa Bay, kid. What you what you think about this? And do you think uh, it's going to is is he is he gonna is he gonna get back to close? Are we gonna get close, to. Julio? You don't you don't need to right. He is a possession. possession he's a possession receiver at this point, right? And look, put him against a linebacker, put him against the safety. He's gonna abuse him. He still got juice, right? They still got Mike on the outside. They got Godwin. You know they can put him wherever they want to put him, right? They got a stable of running backs with Lenny. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they got Tampa behind the center. You know what I'm saying? Like the offensive line, even though they lost their their, their centerpiece. You know what I'm saying? I was like Jensen. Uh, he went yeah, out with a, out, yeah, the ACL, yeah, I think, right? yeah, yeah. So he's out probably for the whole season. To be honest, right? You know what I'm saying? He's pretty much gone. Uh, but uh, I think that they can they can surround that young kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with you know, you, you, there's a lot you can do to, to make your offensive line. You know, like kind of cover up the the lack of experience. I'll say right because the skill I'm pretty sure is there. Just the lack of experience, right? Uh, Tom Brady's going to be what Tom Brady going to be. It's going to be a lot of quick game. And with Julio there, now you can do a lot of quick game, right? Right. Now it just makes it a whole lot easier for him to get to a spot, bam, dumping on him. And Julio's still big and strong. Again, a lot of gas left in that tank. He can still break those tackles and take things a distance, right? So in in a sense, with Tampa Bay is done and Leftwich being the office coordinator, in his mind, I'm sure it's like, okay, we're going to go short to open up long. Right, whereas most teams go long to open up short, they're going to do yes. just the opposite, right? Yes. And trust me when I say it, it's going to be a good fit. You know, Julio Jones is a constant pro. He outworks everybody on the field with Tom. You know, Tom going to make it magic. So I'm anxious to see what they're going to do. I'm excited to watch. It. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And where I think where I think they're going to shine to to your point is I think I think you're going to see Julio really get get his make his hay on a lot of Tom going up to the line, taking a look at what he has, a little mm-hmm. check with me. Yep. And then you're going to see that quick slant. Like if, if, they, need like, quick, yep. if they need like four yards, it's going to yep. be big, big yep. body to the chest. He's going to take mm-hmm. it. And like you said, if Julio gets loose, get that yak. You never know if he, you know, you know, and you know he's, he's been doing that his whole career. So yep. ain't much going to change, man. He in great shape, still big, strong, physical, fast. They're going to be just fine. Yep, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, we were talking about it in our padded production meeting. We couldn't even believe it. Like, we came out of a coma, Mr. Bridges. We were like, what? Uh, it's August already. Football's back. Oh, my God. It's the Hall of Fame game. This, tomorrow night, as you're watching this live broadcast, it's the it's the Raiders and the Jaguars. <laughs> oh, more, more than oh, them, them clearing throws in the other corner. Jesus, shout, shout out to Chris Berman. In Canton, Ohio, the home of the Hall of Fame. Oh, no uh, really? Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen of the review, tomorrow. Tomorrow. NFL football is back. Yep. Right? Yes, they do. Bucks have the best winning win the championship. Uh, yeah, Rogers did lose the talent. Yeah, 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 all that. All that, Tim. All that, right? Everything you're saying is completely valid, right? But damn it to hell, football is back. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Football is back. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, all right, it's back. Wow. So yeah, man, it's beautiful, Benny. Um, you know the Hall of Fame game is always cool. You know, what I'm saying they show the inducting class, right? Uh, you know, all the legends come back. You know, what I'm saying it's great for the city of Canton, Ohio. Uh, of course, the Hall of Fame is there, but you know, it's always great for them. You know, what I'm saying to bring those NFL teams there and people fly in. You know, what I'm saying to watch this game. Uh, you know. Not only fan bases, you know what I'm saying? People are just excited that the game is back. I'm excited that the game is back. Hell, I didn't even know the game was tomorrow. I thought the game was right. this week some shit, right? So, shout out to that, man. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy, please. This shit is about to start up again. Yes, sir. The crime rate is about to go back down, right? <laughs> yes. Listen, man, I'll be, I'll be watching. I'm, I'm curious. Obviously, you know, Trevor Lawrence and, and Derek Carr aren't, aren't going to get a ton of run. But, you know, I'm definitely curious, particularly watching the Jags, to see what kind of, uh, what kind of you know, steps and elevation Trevor Lawrence is going to have. Sure. And maybe we'll get a, a glimpse of it for maybe a series of, you know, that, that Derek Carr, uh, Devontae Adams, Fresno State connection. Who knows? Um, definitely excited to watch the Raiders this year. Um, me and the Jags have been making moves as well. So I think it's a cool matchup. I'm looking forward to it. And, yeah, man, I mean – any any time you got a chance to you know put on a little ball, it's a good day, baby. Uh, Speaking of watching some ball, man, just in an experienced life, we'd be remiss if we didn't end some review reaction news with some R.I.P. Vin Scully. 
legendary broadcaster and of course being out here in la he's considered a god in this town he's he's up there with kobe and, and magic you know, right, right. play by play broadcaster for the la dodgers jb you're you're i mean i like baseball but you're definitely a baseball fan um you're just your thoughts on, on on vin scully and his impact on the game particularly from you know a a, a broadcasting level well certain guys just have it Right, and Vin, Vin Scully was that guy that had it. Right, the velvety uh, voice, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you, you, you couldn't listen to a Dodgers game without hearing his voice. Right, uh, and of course, you know, it's just something that you you take for granted to a sense because it's uh, he's always there. Right, and you just again, you know, what I'm saying you you when, when ESPN shows the highlights of a home run, you know, what I'm saying Vin Scully's voice is what you hear. Right, so with that being said, man, uh, good journey to the man. Uh, he did it for a long time. Again, like you said, money ain't no good in L.A. His folks' money ain't no good in L.A. Uh, he's royalty and great man from what everybody says about him. You know, you're watching on Twitter, you're watching on ESPN, you know, all, all the great things that people have to say about him. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to old Ben Scully. Uh, and I don't know, Ben, if we, we talk about it, you know what I'm saying, but Bill Russell passed away, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, mean, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if we even, you know what I'm saying, got to it or not, but uh, seven decades, that's right, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Bill Russell, right, the great 11 rings himself, right, passed away. I want to say he was 88 years old, something like right. that. Yep. Um, but of course, man, <laughs> that's Bill Russell, bro. You know what I'm saying? One of the greatest to ever do it, period. No questions asked. There's none of us to talk about. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go up for glory, Bill shout Russell. Out, shout right. out to shout out to the great doctor. He gave me this book. This is an excellent read. It's probably on Audible if you like to listen to books. And it really talks about his experience, you know, playing in Boston and what he went through. And I'll tell you what, one one thing you really learn about reading, you know, reading about his journey in particular and and players from this era is they talk about it and it's cliche and the younger generation hears it and you you already know you feel like it goes it goes in one ear and one out the other for them mm-hmm. sometimes. Cats like Bill Russell really did lay the groundwork mm. for the players to be getting these crazy huge bags. Nowadays. Of course, right? a lot of yeah. these guys had jobs in the yeah. offseason. Bill and Russell so- was the only one making a hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that was that was right. big dough back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Talk, talk to him, Quincy, greatest big winner bro. of all time. Big bro, what's popping? Yep. You see the Chiefs on that boy name. You know what I'm saying? He's excited yeah. about them Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? You see him? Hey, that they something to wear. Gonna be something to watch this year. Of a division, but yeah, man. I mean, you're, you're talking about two legends, that, you know, that, that that come out of that era. And yes, I, should, I actually meant to make a video, which I'm still going to do. By the way, you'll see it at JB and Benny Blue, just talking about Bill Russell specifically. Mm-hmm. But of course, R.I.P. Bill Russell, um, arguably the greatest champion in, in in all the sports. And with Vin Scully, I would encourage you, and it's on Twitter, and you can find it. And I know JB is probably familiar with this. Uh, Vin Scully was calling Hank Aaron's 715th mm. home run. And you should listen to the entire call because it's about two minutes. Of course, you know, he hits it and, you know, it's all the fanfare. It's, you know, uh, H- Hank Aaron's parents are down there. The whole thing where it's, you know, they, they stuff like that. They stop the game. You know what right, I mean? Like, right. he, he, there's 3,000 hit the shit like right. that. They of course. The right, no. But this was, ha- this was in like the mid 70s. And Vin Scully had a great call about like how this was happening in the deep south. Mm-hmm. Black man took the record from Babe Ruth. Yep. And, the t- and he was just basically, he's basically remarking on, how time was standing still, and yeah. all these people from different walks of life were in one place to celebrate this guy. Oh, yeah. and he was saying this back in the seventies. Oh yeah. So yeah. Vin Scully always had a keen observation to recognize the moment mm-hmm. and make sure that that shit would last in the history books. So if that's a, it's an all time call. It's an all time call. That's right, man. Greatness. You got to, you got to check it out, man. Greatness, it, baby. Greatness. Yep. So there it is, man. That's, that's some review reaction news before we get into our next segment. We got to pay a little bills, man. So please, again, make sure to tap in with our sponsors, valleyboyassociation.com. You see it, and they got the helmets. Ooh, just have a football season. Get your shit. We will be talking to them about doing some, some, some exclusive merch, by the way. So be on the lookout for that just in time for football season. Use code PODCAST22 for 20% off your order at checkout. And, of course, tap in with our guy. It's timtobuy.com. Get that new or pre-owned vehicle text review to 515-444-7003 and follow him. Shoot him a DM at It's Tim to Buy on Instagram and he'll hook you up wherever you are in the country. Quincy tapping in. We appreciate you. Says shout out to your nephew and the Albany Empire for That's making right. the That's IAL right. championship, That's right. baby. That's right. In New York, you know what I'm saying? I want to say it's going to be on the 13th. Uh, I thought it was going to be in Vegas, but my, my nephew informed me that they have 
the IAL and the NAL, I think it is on the same day, which is ludicrous to me. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I wish my nephew knew it was in Vegas so I could, you know what I'm saying, make the Vegas run and go over there and check him out. But right. hey, the Albany, I think they're going to take that thing. It would be sweet, man. Just my nephew to get that ring. You know what I mean? And of course, you know what I'm saying, with all these leagues going on right now, I'm excited about the opportunity my nephew going to get to play. A little center, you know, saying so maybe in the, uh, uh, the, the 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 what's what's the league called? The the, the one that's close to the, the USF US USFL is that the one? Right, USFL is yeah, the XFL's back. Right, right. So one of those leagues, you know, what I'm saying my nephew's gonna get a chance to get in there and get it on. Man. Be on YouTube, so and it is on YouTube, our YouTube without okay. a doubt. Yeah, I'll be sharing the link, you know, what I'm saying because he shoots it to me all the time. Yeah, so we'll I'll promote that. Sharing, You'll see that on our socials on without TV, a doubt. Blue. So man, without shout a shot doubt. to him, man. Get the get that ring, baby. Shit. You know what I mean? Mail, mail, get that rain, boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, we got a lot to cover in the world of foosball, particularly with the NFL, so we are not going to waste any more time uh, with some patented edition with a new graphic. JB's going to appreciate this. Oh, JB's, you win it or not, <laughs> baby. Pow! That's right. <laughs> You the, see, the his, face, focus, his focus, the eyes. face, the laser focus. You know what I mean? And we got 25 lighters on our dresser. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, oh we the official music. Hey, you you already know. know. All hey. right. So if, if it's JB segment, that means we're starting out in the desert and starting with the BG. So JB, this, this, is, this is about a week old, but they obviously flipped the script on this. The Cardinals removed Kyler's independent study clause, the four hours of independent study a week clause from his new contract, calling it a distraction from what they're trying to do. JB, the BG removing this clause from the contract. Are, are you with it or not, good sir? I, I'm with it, right? Because honestly, I think that it should it should have been something that shouldn't have been in there, right? That should have been a discussion. Uh, kind of corny, yeah. Yeah, from owner to GM to head coach to player. Saying, hey, man, like, you know, we're going to pay you this money because we believe in you, right? But we need you to take onus of this team and understand that you're a leader on this team, right? That's going to require, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more effort, right? Uh, we're not saying that you don't, but you just have to understand where you are right now, right? Because right now, you are a different person. You are a different, you have a different expectation than you had before we said, okay, we're going to drop 260 on your ass, right? So it shouldn't have never been in there, to be honest. But righteously, if I was Kyler and it was in there and the media has been tripping on me about the shit, I'd have been like, shit, they just paid me $260 million. I'll study for eight hours. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. hey, I don't really care. It don't matter to me. It's not, it's not that big a deal to me. Right, because all they're doing is they're saying, "Hey, we just want to make sure that you and your game. They just want me to be the best man I can be." That's how I would approach it, and I'd have walked off this podium. Is what it is. Right, which it, which if you're referring to what I think you're referring to, Kyler called his own yeah, press he, conference he at the facility, yeah. and he mm -hmm. basically said he basically said to something to the effect of people if people think you know people think I'm not working hard enough, you know it's a joke, right. you yeah. Know, yeah. something to that effect. And like you said, he could have been like, "Shit, they're giving me they're giving me this money. I, I better be working hard." But, he but, easily but, but, yeah, it off. yeah, instead of getting his feelings like he did, you know what I'm saying? Like these, you know, yeah, these cats yeah. do, these Gen X's or Gen Z, whatever the fuck they call, right? They do, right? He should have just been like, hey, hmm, here's what it is. They want me to study four hours? That's cool. Hell, I'll study for six. You know what I'm saying? For that six representing that 260, you know what I mean? Right. Here's what it is. Yep. Well, well, like, well, like you, like you said on the uh, on the post at JB and Benny Blue. At the end of the day, you know, you got you got to get out there. And you got to you got to prove it. You got to show. You every show and prove every, every day, every play. You got to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, there it is. So you know, he's uh, yeah. They they took it out and hey, you signed it. Now now it's time to ride, baby. Now speaking of uh, some uh, risky business and tricky wow. business, Doctor Bridges. Oh, they caught him again. Old slick Stephen Ross suspended until October 17th. Can he work from home? Question mark. And a loss <laughs> of a 2020. He's on Zoom meetings and shit. How long has been on his cell phone? You know, oh they, my ain't God. They, they ain't doing nothing. And the Dolphins lose their 2023 first round pick and a 2024 third round pick for impermissible communications with one Tom Brady going back to 2019 and all the way through 2021. If you remember, the rumor was that they were trying to get Tom Brady and mm -hmm. Sean Payton as a QB mm -hmm. coach package deal. So the, uh, the 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 punishment for this particular crime, uh, Mr. Bridges, are you with it or not, good sir? I'm, I'm with it because I think that's kind of carryover from everything that happened uh, with Flores, right? And uh, when he kind of blew the whistle on what they had going on over there while, you know what I'm saying, Ross saying, hey, I'll give you this much money to kind of, 
you know, blow the season, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, Take a dive. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think that's carryover from that, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, these cats can't be out here doing what they want to do. Now, my question is, what are they going to do to Tom? All right, because somebody got to accept the phone point. call. I didn't think about that. <laughs> right? Somebody right. got to accept the phone calls, right? You, you know, Tom wasn't hitting ignore. Tom Asia wasn't hitting ignore. So what they going to do right. to Tom? Probably right. nothing, right? Again, this is one of those punishments that say, hey, we couldn't punish him for what he did with Flores. But yeah, we're going to have to make, you know, we got to, we, we can't, this is the second incident that's in the public eye. We got to do something to this cat, right? So suspension until October 17th is when he don't do shit no way. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't really hurting him. Uh, he's an owner, you know what I'm saying? He don't do nothing. What does he do? <laughs> right? The general manager handles the team. That's why he's a general manager. And now, now losing the first uh, pick in 2023 and then the third in 2024, eh, maybe. You know what I'm saying? It might hurt him a little bit. But other than that, I think that this has to do something because this is the second incident that this dude's name has been in in the public eye. So shame on you, Stephen Ross. Right? <laughs> so would you, for the sake of the segment, would you say, would you say you're with it or not with it? I'm just curious. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm okay. With it. So, so okay. Suspend his, suspend his ass. Okay. So yeah, you, you got. You guess he got. He got it. Now, speaking of you know Tom Brady and remember when he got four games for Deflate Gate and what they gave Stephen Ross, we already know the NFL is not exactly the greatest judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to punishments for players or owners for that matter. So what did they do in the big news of the week? Well, they hired an independent arbitrator, arbiter. Judge Sue L. Robinson, and after she released her report, uh, she recommended six a six-game suspension for Deshaun Watson, um, which is basically kind of based on the precedent with the Ben Roethlisberger and Zeke Elliott. They both got six games, but that was one accusation, let's be clear. And, of course, the NFL, who wanted an indefinite or at least a year suspension, had three days to appeal. They put in the appeal, and now we all wait to see what they're going to do. So, JB, the NFL being able to appeal this decision, despite the fact that they put this person in place to make the decision for them, are you with it or not, good sir? I'm not with it. It's a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, the lady... So, again, right? Ain't none of this shit cool. Let's just get that off the top, right? Sean Washington needs to stop motherfucking grabbing bitches' ass when they give you massages. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Ben Roethlisberger was accused of rape, ladies and gentlemen. Let's 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 get that clear, right? You know what I'm saying? Like straight up rape. You know what I'm saying? Not no, not no misbehaving while you're getting a massage, right? Not fucking pulling your thing from around the towel so the girl can see it. No, he got accused of rape. You know what I'm saying? Like they got six games for that, right? They brought in an outside source. The lady looked at the evidence, right? She's a judge. He was like, you know what? Get a kid six games, right? She said that. She said that, right? Again, ain't none of this shit cool. But the kid got six games, right? Just let him do his six games and get the shit done, right? If the NFL appeal it, what they gonna do? What they gonna do? What she gonna do? Come back and be like, nah, you know what? Give him, give him eight. Fuck it. That's gonna make you feel better, right? What did I say in our in our in our in our, in our, in our, in our in, probably about three episodes ago? We talked we talked about this in person. I don't think he'll get no more than 10 games. I said that, right? I don't think he'll get no more than 10 games. And I still don't think he'll get no more than 10 games, right? So the six, probably going to stand. The NFL is appealing it, I think, just kind of the phony baloney, right? Because people were kind of outraged about it, right? And then, of course, the, the, the ladies, all the women, I'm going to do that again. All the women's lawyer, all the women's lawyer, it was 22 accusations, man. All the women's lawyer comes out and says, uh, that's not enough game. That's some bullshit. Meanwhile, he done been paid already because they done settled with 20 people. So he done, he done got his bread, right? Now he just out there stirring the pot, all right? So I'm not with it at all, right? I'm not with it at all. NFL should just be like, you know what? We hired this woman. She gave us a settlement. We're going to respect her judgment. We're on, hey, on to the next, right? So. Yeah, because with her, it's like the unfortunate reality is while most people don't agree with the amount of games, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation because they put her in the position to do that and then they didn't they didn't like the results. So they're they're gonna they're gonna just basically overrule her right. and make their decision regardless. Now, if they try to suspend him for the, the whole year, regardless of what she said, NFLPA is gonna sue yeah, exactly. um, and I, he, I, he I, may I, end yeah. up being able to play week one. 
so yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're gonna go they're gonna go to bat for him and right. it should be noted in his report she said that she recommends that he should only be able to go to team facilitated massage therapist moving yeah. forward which is damn straight he should because if, yeah. Yeah, if, no, if nothing else and she even said this in the report that what he did was egregious he was dishonest and it's about the personal conduct policy with right. the nfl it's not right. about the civil cases it's not about right, any right. criminal accusations it's about what he did to violate mm -hmm. the personal conduct policy so in my opinion what i think they should do and i don't even know if this is possible within the current cba or whatever the hell but i think the happy medium is listen we're going to up this to 10 games with a fine, but you cannot come back and sue us. If you accept the 10 games, we'll lay off the season, mm -hmm. but you're going to get fined because you're not. We we strongly believe you should get a season, but we don't want to get sued by your ass. So we're going to bump it up to 10 games with a fine and call it a deal. I personally okay. feel like that's what they should but do. Man, it. The, thing, the thing about it is this. Again, Ben Roethlisberger got accused of rape and they had proof that he did it. Right. He got six games. Lucky his ass didn't go to jail, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, we're not talking about criminal. We're not talking about none of that shit. We're talking about violating the NFL conduct policy, right? So, which one's worse, right? <laughs> said ben Roethlisberger got six games. They didn't appeal that shit, right? And the NFL did that. There wasn't no outside source that did that. The NFL did that, right? So, if they try to come back and give him more games, he's going to sue regardless. I would. I'll be like, man, fuck that shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll be about this other shit, but Ben Roethlisberger yeah. did what he did, right? Right. And he got this many games, and that was that, right? Did oh, Ben Roethlisberger get charged? Oh shit! I don't right. think he got charged, and that—that that was the thing about it. look. Look, it's a no. It's a no-win situation. Right. No, like, yeah, yeah, all yeah, this is shitty for everybody. Right. It's, it's just fucked. trash like, for like everybody. I said, like I said, ain't none of this shit good, right? right. None of it, right? right? So, I mean, but again, you know what I'm saying? You got accusation of rape. You got accusation of sexual misconduct. Right, hey, they gave Ben six games. This lady gave him six games, so ain't got nothing to do with the NFL, right? Because the NFL brought her in. Now the NFL's like, ah, I want to appeal it. Now nah, we, we think he should have got more, okay? Right. All right, you play with fire right now. Yeah, and I, I think that's the point. They, they're they're running the risk of playing themselves in the long term for bringing in an independent judge who makes right. a ruling, and then they still override her and disagree. It so then you can't trust it moving forward. So yeah, definitely not with it with the NFL having that ability to appeal because they they made their bed. Now they got to lay in it. That, that's, that's exactly what, what I'm did. saying. Like you you there brought is. this lady in, like and now you got to respect your judgment. Right there it is. All right, uh, JB. I don't know if this one crossed your radar. It's not like it hasn't happened before, but it's a it's always a unique situation when you see it. Taking it to the MLB, Red Sox catcher Christian Vasquez was traded to the Astros while they were warming up against them in Houston. Uh, are you with it? him getting traded as they're about to play the team, which is very much a baseball thing. Are, are you with it or not? Now we, we've seen this happen in the NBA before. You know what I'm saying? We've seen it happen at halftime. That's true. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it, so yeah. This, this, is, this is just what happens with trading in sports. Now, you don't see it in football at all, right? Because right. they do transactions before and after games. Right. They don't do anything. Cash just retire at halftime. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monte yeah. Davis, you know, Davis did that. You know what I'm saying? But that's his prerogative, right? So we're talking about transactions that happen via ball clubs. Right, NBA and if uh, NBA and MLB are notorious for shit like this, right? So I mean, hey, you know, it's the business, so I got to be with it because there's no way you can go against it, you know? Okay, yeah, I mean, you know, it ain't like he got it ain't like he got traded to a you know like he gets sent down to AAA or anything. So sometimes, Mister actually, Vasquez... actually, he went from hell to heaven because you know what I'm saying the Sox sucked this year. And Houston, Houston, Houston making a run for the playoffs. So yeah, I mean, it might be the better, yeah. better situation. Uh, so there it is. And this one, uh, this one is brand new. Um, I'm not sure if you actually saw us. I'm not sure if you um, watched this at the time it came out. But Dr. Bridges, oh my God, Slam Ball is coming back in the summer of 2023. Uh. It debuted over 20 years ago. I can see the look on your face, but damn it. Slam ball coming back. Are you with it or not, good sir? Vinny, I don't care. All right. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. This is the, there are so many basketball leagues that are played, right? We don't need to see rugby basketball, right? We don't need to see that, right? You know what I'm saying? We don't need to see rugby trampoline basketball. Like that shit is has no merit it's just you know it's like fucking nba jams in real life you know what I'm saying? it's basically what it is you know what i'm saying so i i don't give a damn you know what i'm saying like they can have slam ball 
I'd turn away from that shit a hundred thousand times. If I, if I was forced to watch it, I wouldn't watch it. Uh, damn y'all slam ball. How about that? <laughs> I like that. Put it, put on a t-shirt. Damn y'all slam ball. <laughs> what if, what if it was like, what if it was like the same type of cats or like in the big three, not like a, like a bunch of random ass dudes like it was back in the day. Did hey, you look, watch it? If it was like but, known, known players. But look, but look what you just said though, right? The big three. You got the big three, right? And that's real basketball. Right. That's real three on three basketball. So why in the fuck would I want to watch some motherfuckers jumping on trampolines trying to slam balls down on each other? Like that shit weird. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm but pause. Y'all do your, y'all do your thing. <laughs> hey, somebody getting paid for it. So congratulations. Right. But yeah, JB ain't gonna, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Well, he's not with it. Slam ball coming back. We'll see if you last this time around. Pop up out. And that's it for some JB's wit or not. Before we get up out of here, we gotta do a little review reacts uh with some some videos that uh came across here and i'm gonna pull the first one up um this one was wild jb i don't know if you actually saw this one and this one as a coach and as a trainer is uh going to most certainly make your blood boil let me run this one back uh turn on the volume so this one is called when trying to stunt gets you slumped this is that like a seven on seven camp if i'm not mistaken and let's take it to the video uh, right now oh my fucking goodness oh i'm gonna try to run it back there all right so he makes the catch touches his head yink yeah i've seen this video benny i've seen this video and if I was a kid, I would do the same thing. Because what happened was is that, you know how they do this shit in the NBA, right? Yeah. When people get dunked on, he went and he patted the kid on the head. You don't do that, right? You don't do that. You don't do that. But this is indicative of how out of hand this 707 bullshit has got, right? It's, it's, it's bullshit. It's, 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 it's crazy. But you, I guarantee whoever that was holding that camera, how the old God was a grown man. Right? Mm-hmm. It's a grown man. Right? That's a grown man. Now, kids making great catches, that's awesome. Right? But if you got a team, a bunch of assholes, run out doing all this dumb ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't never made a great catch before. He deserved to get his ass knocked the fuck out. Right? And shout out to the kid, you know what I'm saying, that's, that slept his ass because I did the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You walking over, put your fucking hands on me. I don't give a damn what you did. All right? right. Coaches, coaches, trainers, players. Act like you've been there before, right? Man, you know, man. If, you, if, if you want to celebrate, but as soon as you start putting hands on him, oh, hey, buddy. Tell you not, hey, shit, you don't never know who you're fucking with. And obviously he didn't because buddy hit him right. with that, with that, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, how black, yeah, cow. Right. Speak, speaking of the speaking of the youth and trying to and trying to teach them good habits, Doctor Bridges. Uh, this one is called "That Don't Look Like a Thigh Pad," and I will show you what I mean. This was shared by <laughs> I, I want to say he's a coach or trainer. I'm not sure, but it came across the Twitter like feed. I had to save it. Uh, he said first day in full pads, um, and I had to explain to a freshman that his pockets on his pants were not for his cell phone. He put his damn phone uh, in his thigh pad uh, slot. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, baby. <laughs> okay, so first of all, this kid ain't focused at all, right? What what you going to do with your phone in your thigh pad pocket, man? Like, who you going to text? Who you going to call, right? What you going to be doing? Go uh, scrolling, 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 scrolling your TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Watch special teams on the field. Like, what you doing, man? Like, that. this is just... Come on, man. It, this, this is wild, bro. Like, first of all, as a coach... You shouldn't have to say cell phones should not be on the field, right? For players, right? Coaches, of course, got to have their phone, you know what I'm saying? Because they got families and all this other shit, right? But I know coaches that don't even take their phones on the field, right? So players, it shouldn't have to be said. It should be an unwritten law that your cell phone stays in your locker. My brother's a coach. He said he deals with it all the time, right? I, shh, please, right? Hey, it couldn't be me, all right? I, it will have it on the board. it would be on the grease board. Your cell phone stays in your locker, period. Don't bring that shit on that field, 
right? If you do a a like in the words of Gunnery Sergeant Harvin on my fucking uh full metal jacket, I will PT PT you till you fucking die, right? <laughs> so <laughs> don't don't fucking play with me, right? Don't play with me. I, I I'm not having it. Not dealing with it. It ain't gonna be something that we're gonna deal with. We're not gonna start it. Not today, right? Okay. Just ain't gonna happen. What is your major malfunction, Private Pile? Good hey, but God I, Almighty. But I asked him, Benny. Said, you need to, I need to know. I need to know what's your problem, kid. Mm-mm-mm. And finally, Dr. Bridges, speaking of being coachable, building a culture, good habits, everything that we just went over in, in the last two reactions. God damn it, I'm excited. Yeah. It's finally, the time has come. Yeah. And we're going to react to it right now. Yeah. It's the official trailer for Hard Knocks. My kitties of Detroit Lions. I'm sharing the screen. Is anybody's uh, ankles gonna get bit? No, no ankles. Bit. Uh, kneecaps. I want to see ankles. somebody's kneecap get chewed on. No. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, well, we'll say hey, we might see you in the trailer. Let, let's check it out. The D. This, this is the time to focus. Get them right, coach. Continue to grow and develop for our fundamentals. We got to apply pressure. (laughs) From this time last year, we're at a higher level. Music. These guys are really confused. The music. We're smart. We're relentless. It's all about ball, baby. These guys will be a terror in the league. Ooh. Mm. Ooh buddy. JB, I got one yeah. question to ask you. I just got one question to ask you. Are you ready to run through a wall? Uh yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah, I mean, that, but that's, you know, I, I've always liked you guys, Coach, you know what I'm saying? I told you last year, you know what I'm saying? We, I think we all came to a consensus, you know what I'm saying, when we had our uh, beginning of the season show like we do, and we will have in a couple of weeks here with our KRSN family. Uh, you know, I believe in you guys, Coach, right? And as the season went on, everybody started to believe in you guys, Coach, because the, 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 the Lions were dangerous, you know what I'm saying? You could see it. Right, you guys lost more games. I think you guys, you guys lost most of y'all's games by less than five points. Mm-hmm. Right, so that's dangerous. Right, that's turning the corner. It takes one little thing to get you over that hump. Right, next thing you know, you know, saying you're beating those teams. Right, and a lot of those teams that y'all lost to this year, last year, are not as good this year. Right, so it's gonna be a great opportunity, Detroit. Hmm. Hmm. I dare I say, might make a playoff run this year, all right? Because I don't believe in Chicago, right? Damn. And Green, Green Bay ain't going to be as good as people think they are. I know 12 behind center, but 12 fuck around to get hurt. God forbid, four or five games, and they are done, right? Um, and then the Vikings, eh, got a new head coach, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this might be a chance for Detroit to sneak up in that thing and, and, and make some hay. I know they're going to be good. I know they are. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be – hey, look, man, it's going to be one of the most competitive football seasons that we've seen in a long time. Uh, talent has been allocated. There's no sorry teams in the league no more. None. All right? Ain't no sorry teams in the league no more. Jacksonville's going – Trevor Lawrence is going to his second year. Mm-hmm. Right? Weapons, defense, different head coach, different. Right? So, Detroit, we just watched that. Right? And these are teams that have been notorious just being kind of bad in the last few years. Right? Um, who else? Cleveland. David. They've, they've been stepping forward more and more every year, right? Cincinnati just went to the fucking Super Bowl last year, right? You right. know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, what? What else? What else? These are teams that have been notoriously bad for years, right? This this season here gonna be nasty, right? It's gonna be nasty. And it's gonna be one to watch. I don't think we're gonna have no bad Thursday and Monday and Sunday night games, Benny. I'm calling it right now. We're not gonna have no bad Sunday, Thursday, and Monday night games, right? That's a I big think, ass, but I hope we I, get it. I, I think, think I think I think last year, damn near every Monday night game in the overtime, right? You might be right. Yeah. I mean, a either, lot mo- either, either Monday or Sunday night, one or two. Now yeah. Thursday night games are still kind of sketchy, right? 
because again, you had those teams that were, you know, and Pittsburgh was trash last year, right? So Pittsburgh and you know they they were getting a lot of burn, of course, because you know saying the franchise and, and and in the history of that, you know, and, and the people that are going to watch, of course, it has a lot to do with ratings, right? Yep. I, mean, I don't think we're going to have one bad game this year, bro. Every oh, game is going to be watchable. Listen, I can't, I can't wait, I can't wait for Hard Knocks. Can't wait for the, I can't wait for the season. I can't wait to get back to it. We are so goddamn close. But that's it for now, reviewers. Until we get on up out of here, so close. Right there. You know what time it is? It's time we got for football tomorrow. Doctor Bridges to leave us with some words of wisdom on another patented edition of We Need Us, or what you got? What you got for the people? Monkeypox. God damn. Right? <laughs> what? The fuck a monkeypox? Look, uh, look, ladies and gentlemen, we are not out of the water, right? COVID is still floating around. It's gonna be a part of our life forever. This monkeypox shit, what the fuck, what? Wash your hands, you know what I'm saying? Keep your hands to yourself, right? If you gotta avoid public places, that's cool too. Like, we, we you know, we, we ain't out the water yet. Just know that. They still trying to fuck us over, right? They still trying to get us, right? Yeah, you're right, brother. Damn, 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 that's right, right? So, other than that, I say it all the time, we need us, all right? This is a lot stronger than this, right? This is what it is. This is a mighty blow. This is a blow, right? So together, right, we can make a difference. Aside, apart, not so much, right? We need us, ladies and gentlemen, review. We appreciate you guys for tapping in episode 226. Yeah. In the mix. Follow us is. on all social media platforms at JBN Benny Blue, right? Subscribe to our YouTube. Give us a five star review on iTunes. Uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Tell your friends about us, man. Please. Show please. us some love. Hit that subscribe button, man. I know you subscribe to fucking horrible shit. Subscribe mm-hmm. to us, right? Follow us on our personal IGs. Mine being at 73 King JB73. Benny's being at Benny Blue Eyes. We rock with you. You know what I'm saying? We do interact with the people, right? If you still want to hear us in podcast form, okay? You got to pay us that hot dollar, baby. You know what I'm saying? That hot, hot dollar on patreon.com slash JB and Benny Blue. All right, just one dollar, baby. Don't make me start talking about what you do with that dollar. All right, don't make me do it. Okay, we understand. I know what y'all doing out there. I know. All right, I know. Well, check us out. One dollar is all we need, baby. You know what I'm saying? Get with us on that aspect of life, baby. Of course, man. You know what I'm saying? Sponsorship, hate mail, love. It don't matter. You got music. We still doing the music thing, right? If you want to be on our show, if you feel like you're worthy of being on our show, hit us up. Uh, it's a JB and Benny Blue review at gmail.com get with us benny checks that thing regularly you know what i'm saying we are looking for our people to interact with of course football season coming around yes you got some dope shit going on we do the show every week at this point you know what i'm saying so boom that's advertising you know what i'm saying we got a hell of a following people gonna hear our voices and then that being said they'll be able to hear what you got going on baby you know what i'm saying so hit us up all right hit us up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, that's sir. it reviewers we love you this has been a good one and uh football season's right around the corner so you know we're going to be picking this thing up and uh, we appreciate all the support whether you're tapping in facebook twitter youtube or instagram especially for our fine folks on patreon and follow us at jb betty blue for all the content that you missed and anything that might be happening immediately that you know we're going to talk about but until next time this has been episode 226 baby <sighs> of the review and we are out, baby. Peace. Holla. Yeah.